evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. A story of two mothers from two different countries forever united by the same cause fighting for their sons. Jim Hummel joining us live with how the connection was made and how these two women are helping one another. Jim. Marcel, good evening. This is a story that started in this very spot with our special report on the clergy sex abuse crisis. That report featured a mother dealing with a family trauma. It's something that struck a nerve with another mother watching hundreds of miles away. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> this is the first time Letitia Payton and Lacita Chisholm Gibo from Nova Scotia have met in person. But their bond goes back to 2019. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Letitia was featured in our special report, The List, praying a rosary for victims of clergy sex abuse, including her son. And when I started reading about Letitia, I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to send this lady a message. And what are the chances she's even going to reply? It's so good to meet you. Letitia did respond, and the two women forged a friendship. We've come a long way. I know. We've come a long way. I know. All of us, actually, haven't we? I know. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. How are you? So this is Very Alex. Good. Lacita adopted her son Alex from an orphanage in Guatemala. It's where Alex alleges he endured years of physical, emotional, and sexual abuse. I feel emotional just thinking about it because one of the things that I that does bond us is the trauma, the trauma that uh, we suffer because our, our kids have suffered. And that's where she really, really helped me because she was like a year or two, I believe, like ahead of me on this, on this battle as mothers, as mothers. Mamas are mamas. When someone injures or hurts our children, we're gonna fight back. And you know, we, we're tough, we're strong. And when we can build those bonds and you know, have each other to encourage each other and keep the fight going and stand up for our children, you know, it's, it's, it's a big and powerful thing. Okay, say cheese. Cheese. And for their children. And I think that is just the way it should be. Mama bears that fight for their kids. And I know that for sure justice doesn't just happen. You gotta make it happen. And that is exactly what they both are doing. And that support system will continue. The Gibos are in Louisiana for depositions. They have filed a lawsuit against the Louisiana-based charity that runs that orphanage in Guatemala. Letitia Payton able to provide more support because their family recently settled a lawsuit against the Diocese of Lafayette in her son's case. We're live in downtown Lafayette tonight. Jim Hummel, KTC TV3. Another